hello you're welcome back to bell natural's youtube channel today we want to show you how to formulate a super hydrating lotion from scratch we'll be using safe and effective ingredients all natural we'll be using water vegetable glycerin oils like rice bran oil capric triglyceride cetyl alcohol vitamin b3 and so on so we want to try a new emulsifier called lotion pro 165 we want to know whether the lotion will be hydrating whether it will be less waxy whether it will absorb into the skin so fast okay please if you're seeing our video for the first time hit the subscription button and don't go without liking our videos okay thank you thank you all right like we said earlier we want to know whether the lotion will absorb into the skin so fast and whether it will be really hydrating all right let's dive into it okay firstly you have to weigh your ingredients you need a digital scale you need a beaker about two or three beakers okay in this beaker we've already weighed vegetable glycerin and our distilled water so we're going to heat the ingredients up we've already added the beaker in our crock pots this is a crock pot so we'll be heating it using a double boiler method all right the second beaker here we have uh lotion pro 165 and we'll be we'll be adding the next ingredient which is cetyl alcohol cetyl alcohol is a thickener it's going to thicken your formulation you can also use an alternative ingredient like xanthan gum any other thickener you want but for this formula we will be using cetyl alcohol so you weigh your cetyl alcohol remember as a professional formulator you must weigh all your ingredients you're not going to be using spoon cup you must weigh them you need a digital scale digital scale precision digital scale yeah okay so in this beaker we have lotion pro 165 and cetyl alcohol the next ingredients we'll be adding is capric triglyceride capric triglyceride it's very hard to pronounce for some people it's hard capric triglyceride is an emollient um it's very very nice it's very good for it's good for all skin types it is moisturizing is it helps to smoothen the skin it works as antioxidants it does not clog the pores so even if you have acne prone skin you can use this um, in your formulation okay you can use any carrier oil you like any carrier oil you prefer like almond oil jojoba oil um, coconut oil I can't remember all the carrier oils right now so you can choose any carrier oil you want or you like so the next oil we'll be adding is rice bran oil rice bran oil is very nice it's natural oil it is moisturizing anti-aging hydrating it also brightens the skin those ingredients won't bleach your skin they are natural okay they are natural ingredients all right so in this beaker we have all the oil soluble ingredients okay oil soluble ingredients in one beaker water soluble ingredients in the second beaker so we've put them in our crock pots we're gonna allow them to heat up slowly so what we need here is low heat then we allow it to stay for like for a few minutes when the temperature gets to about 70 to 75 degrees celsius 70 to 75 yeah you can add the oil to the water 
and then you blend oil to the water the emulsifier is an oil and water emulsifier so we are adding the oil to the water then you blend okay okay you blend once you blend for a few minutes you're going to have an emulsion this is what we call an emulsion please hit the subscription button and like our videos don't go don't go anywhere because we're going to be uploading more interesting videos if you're interested in learning natural skin and hair care formulation you want to learn how to make lotion different type of cream face cleansers face toner serum please check below you will see links that will take you to our website where you're going to get the details all the details you want to know okay hit the link below okay let's carry on as you can see we have an emulsion a lotion is an emulsion all right so the next ingredient we'll be adding is nag and acetyl glucosamine all right this particular ingredient is, is an active ingredient it brightens the skin it reduces wrinkles and fine lines and it's hydrating it's not a bleaching agent okay it's natural what it does is it's going to brighten you it's gonna make you glow it's not going to bleach you all right so right now we are weighing the powders the powder we are, we are starting with NAC and acetyl glucosamine okay after this we are going to weigh vitamin b3 that's the next ingredient vitamin b3 is also called niacinamide it also brightens the skin it protects the skin barrier it also moisturizes the skin so this two combination will help to brighten your skin so you can call this lotion we're about to make a brightening lotion glow lotion you can give it any lovely name you want okay let's carry on um please 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 stay with us please don't go i hope this video is not boring please stay with us if you want to be a natural skincare formulator if you are interested in learning how to make natural skin and hair care products stay with us don't go don't go don't go all right the next ingredient is alatoin alatoin is a natural ingredient that will help to smoothen the skin it suits the skin it helps to calm the skin it is anti-aging and hydrating so we have three active powders here nag which means n acetyl glucosamine vitamin b3 and alantoin so when you finish weighing you dissolve with water distilled water the water we are using is part of the water for the formula we set aside about 50 grams so we can use it to dissolve these powders the powders are water soluble so they're going to dissolve very well in water okay there are some powders that are not soluble in water but these particular powders these particular active ingredients are soluble in water so we're gonna mix the ingredients we're gonna mix it so that they will dissolve very well and then after mixing you add the mixture to your emulsion before you add you need to check the temperature the temperature must be below 40 degrees celsius yes it must be warm if you don't have a thermometer you just touch it feel it don't add your active ingredients when your emulsion is still very hot okay all right right now we are about to add the our active powders okay 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 let's go let's go let's go let's go all right okay 
after you've added the mixture, you blend. You have to blend again, all right, so that everything will mix very well. You blend, all right. If you're new to our channel, please check our Instagram page. Check below, hit the links below. You're going to get all the details you need to know about Bell Naturals. Once in a while, we upload videos that will help you, that you will learn from. As a professional formulator, you will learn one or two things from this video. You will learn about one or two ingredients. Okay, the next ingredient we're about to add is Jamal Plus. Jamal Plus is a broad spectrum um, preservative. It's going to preserve this product, this lotion. This lotion is a water-based product. So for water-based product, you need a preservative, not just any preservative, a broad spectrum preservative to prevent it from growing mold, fungi, bacteria. Okay, then this ingredient we just added is lavender essential oil. It's mild, it's natural, it's going to add a mild fragrance to the lotion. It is also beneficial to the skin. All right, so you mix it together. You can also blend again so that all the ingredients will blend very well. All right, so here we have our lotion, our super moisturizing lotion, anti aging, brightening lotion. You see, it's almost ready. Okay, okay. So right now, we are mixing with spatula. You don't need to blend too much. If you blend too much with your hand blender, a match of, uh, sorry, a mushroom blender, if you blend too much, the lotion will have bubbles. You're going to have bubbles inside the lotion. So you blend and then you switch to mixing with spatula or with your whisk, okay? Our lotion is almost ready. So the next thing we are about to do is to check our pH. You must check the pH of your formulations, your water-based products. You need to check whether the product is mildly acidic, whether it's very acidic or alkaline. Your product is supposed to be mildly acidic so that it will be for your skin your lotion should be mildly acidic okay uh the ph value is 5.2 so we are good to go we're not going to balance we're not going to increase or reduce the ph if it's too high then you have to reduce if it is too low which is acidic you have to increase all right using um any of the ingredients for balancing the pH okay right now our lotion is ready 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 super ready as you can see the consistency is very nice it's light just like we want it if you want it thicker what you have to do is to increase the percentage of your water and reduce sorry to what you have to do is to reduce the percentage of your water and increase the percentage of your thickener Okay, now we want to check it on our skin to know how it feels. Woo! As you can see, it is less waxy. It absorbs into the skin so fast. It is super hydrating. Oh my God. We love it. We love it. We love it. I know you will love to try this at home. If you want to know more, you want to know more about this formula, please, please, you can chat us on WhatsApp. If you're interested in knowing more, chat us on WhatsApp. If you want to learn more about natural skin and hair care formulation, also click the link below. Thank you so much for watching our video. Don't go, don't go without liking our video. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.